everyone thank you for joining once again we're studying about god's word and the fact that god's word is able to nourish us help us grow in him grow in the knowledge uh, of our lord jesus christ and today i want to stress on the importance of speaking the word of god declaring the word of god say what god says um and speak in line with what god has already promised Let's look at Hebrews 13 verse 5 the latter portion and then verse 6 it says for he himself has said i will never leave you nor forsake you so we may boldly say the lord is my helper i will not fear what can man do to me this is a wonderful example of how one must take the word of god uh and speak it out so we know that god has spoken and said i will never leave you nor forsake you so that means god is our constant god is our helper god is our strength he is our salvation he is our light we can depend on him and when he has spoken these words to us we need to have a response towards that and in the following a portion we read so we may boldly say so what has god said he said i will never leave you i will never forsake you and that asks for a response from us and that is a bold response so we may boldly say the lord is my helper i will not fear what can man do to me so our response is one of confidence our response is to say that god is my helper and that no matter what situation i face god is there for me and god is going to take care of me so uh, we see that our um understanding of god's word and uh, the condition of our hearts right by faith when we receive the word of god uh, the word has to settle uh, into us settle into us in such a way that our response responds to the circumstances of the world responds um any form of opposition which we may face uh, our response to the demonic powers needs to be on the basis of what god has already spoken when god has already spoken and said that i have given you the victory through the cross i have given you the authority i have given you um uh, the power you know i have empowered you by my spirit we must boldly say that we are overcomers greater is he who is in me than he that is in the world so our response must be in line with what god's word has spoken to our hearts and uh, let's make this a practice and walk in the victory that god has given us let's pray together heavenly father we thank you that we can depend on your word lord yes father your word is forever established oh god and so we depend on that lord and lord we pray that uh, we will be able to step out in faith lord and and see um uh, lord the the value of what you've spoken to us in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.